symptoms uh, we are not to come to work if we have a fever of 100.4 I mean any sort of symptoms at all is what I'm looking for and I have not experienced anything yet so just get ready to go to work I'll show you guys that here in a second. I have my water bottle I'm going to take to work because it's easy to wipe off. My jacket. Come on, Kaisy. Kaiser, come on. Socks. Headband. Water bottle. Coffee I already drank. And my scrub jacket. So all I'm making for dinner, really, really quick, trying to heat this up in the pan. So all I did, this is just a big pan. I just have it on little medium high heat I have a can of green beans in there and then I put in probably a cup of hash browns just basic frozen hash browns and then just some prepped chicken that I prepped yesterday so that's what I'm going to simmer up in the pan add some spices and then throw some sugar-free ketchup over it and that is going to be dinner probably going to have the exact same thing tomorrow and yeah simple simple easy meals I'm actually gonna add a little bit of this olive oil spray to it it has zero calories I got this from Trader Joe's so we're just gonna squirt a little bit of that in there and add some spices. All right, so this is what I'm bringing for my food tonight. I have just some sweet chili almonds, throw those in. I have a 3D cotton candy energy drink that will definitely be drink. I have some grapes in here, not very many because they kind of got bad. Sour strips if I need the quick sugar at 4 a.m. A veggie muffin, this is blueberry. I got this at Costco. Uh, a lemon bar, ice protein bar from Bomar. A cheese stick, always have to have a cheese stick. Gushers per usual. And that's all I'm bringing. I, my food has been weird lately. I don't always eat all of it, you know, whatever it is. So that's what I'm gonna bring. And then I will also bring my balanced water bottle. I'm not bringing my hydro jug lately just because I'm, I don't know, it's really, really big and I don't wanna wipe down the sleeve every time I leave. So this is just easier for me to wipe down when I leave the hospital. So yeah, and the new wave stickers on there. So fill that up and bring both. For work, I'm going to drink this. This is kind of almost shot style. I don't have very much in here. This is some greens and a vitamin C packet. I am, I don't care if I'm overloading my immune system. I am just trying to do the best. Uh, so we're gonna do some greens here and then I'm also gonna take my care of vitamins. We'll do that. All right guys, so this is the finished product. Just all sauteed up in a pan and I top it with a crap ton of sugar-free ketchup. Certainly don't have to do that, but yeah, that's what I'm having. I forgot these. Gotta have the popcorners. Yes. Cheers. I saw you from across the room. When our eyes met, I never knew that I could feel this way. And it's kind of strange. Don't even know your name. from uh 
woke up from my shift and here I am. Just took Kaizy outside. He was downstairs with Sam. Sam was off today. So whenever Sam is off, he's up with the dog and stuff like that. And then if I have to sleep during the day, I do take Kaiser to a doggy daycare that he absolutely loves. They're phenomenal with him. He gets so much exercise and playing with puppies. So much fun for him. So that's what he does when I sleep during the day and Sam works. It just kind of depends. But yeah. I wanted to show you guys, my lunchbox is obviously unpacked. I'll repack that here in a little bit for work again. But Sam went to the store and got a few different things that I came downstairs. Have you guys had Pirate's Booty? Because it's actually really good. It's not that bad macro wise. And I don't know, I was just snacking on it earlier and I kind of forgot that it's actually pretty decently good. So he got that, he got the this stuff. I won't really eat that but Sam likes that kind of stuff. And then, he, I don't know, he got shampoo and conditioner for him. I don't know why he bought Clorox because I'm not bleaching our clothes, but that's what he bought. And then tortillas, bread, this is all kind of for him, honestly. I was mainly excited about the paper towels because we were so out and I haven't gone to the store. So, just work. So yeah, that's what is going on here right now. I am just going to sip on this coffee and then we will get ready for work all over again, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is night two for me. I'm gonna share what Sam did today because he's a genius. <laughs> oh my god. Tell him what you tell him what you discovered. I didn't discover it, I've known it. If you dilute bleach with water, it, it's a disinfectant. So Sam went to Costco today because we desperately needed paper towels and we're not stockpiling by the way, this is how we buy paper towels. But he went and got paper towels and then also picked up a three pack of Clorox bleach. And I was very confused when I got home because I was like, well, what is the deal? And yeah, he says that if you delete it, it's basically like disinfectant wipes. I don't know if that's the truth or not. I'm actually gonna look it up before I post this so I don't look stupid, but yeah. Got himself some shampoo. I know this doesn't matter, but anyways. I packed my lunch again for tonight. It's pretty much the exact same thing that I packed last night. Uh, let's just take a peek here. I'm pretty sure it's the same. But I have my popcorners, my drink, a muffin, Gushers, different flavor of almonds. Sam got blackberries at Costco, a protein bar. And yeah, that's, that's what I have. I have my water. I just drank my greens and my vitamins again. And we're going to head off to work. I haven't eaten anything, so I might try and see if I can find something quick to bring, but that's all, that's, that's all we got. Gonna get the deck set up today. Only real thing we have are those lights up. I was just telling everybody on Instagram about this new Hydro Jug sleeve that's releasing this weekend, Saturday at 10 a.m. Central. So cute. We've got some tulips. Playing around with this, but these floppy tulips are giving me life. So I did just wake up from work. I worked last night. So today, I my goal, I have a whole list of things I need to get done, but I really, really want to get the patio furniture set up. I don't know if you guys just saw that clip, but I really, really want to get it set up because Kaiser loves being out there. And during this time period, it's just really nice to get outside, get some vitamin D on your skin and feel the sun, sit out there, makes me happy. That's what we're gonna try and do right now. I'm gonna go get Sam. This is your before view. We don't have a very big patio, but it's super nice for the space that we do have. This is what it looks like right now. We'll see what it looks like in a minute. Here is the first view of our tiny little patio. Sam and I just set up our chairs. Basically, we had everything just folded over over here, so it wasn't too difficult, but. Kaiser, what do you think? And then we just have this thing. I'll see if I can find this set. It should probably still be available. We got it at Walmart. Do you remember how much it was? This set? It wasn't like terrible, wasn't it? I feel like it was maybe 800, 850 for two really nice chairs. I mean, these are nice chairs. And all the cushions, two chairs, the table, and this. If I had a bigger patio, I would definitely get a different table but we love it and then this uh rug is actually really inexpensive the material is super flimsy but i liked that because when it rains and stuff it's really easy to dry it out on the side of the deck and then these lights are 
gonna need to come off sam keeps having a coronary over them because some of them are broken and some aren't and that's just happened over time but i've also had these years lights for i think almost four years i had these in college at one of my first houses and then i brought them to our first apartment and now they're here so yeah this is our cute little family deck Nizy? he doesn't give two shits <laughs> I am just making a little sandwich here. I just have some Colby Jack. Uh, I'm going to use this bitchin' sauce. I actually already put it on the cheese. And this is from Costco. This stuff's awesome. It's really, really delicious. It's an organic almond dip. My camera will focus. Maybe. Maybe. There you go. Super good. Macros are pretty decent for two tablespoons. So that. And then I have my favorite turkey from Costco. I actually like the other one. I think it's honey roasted, but this one's great too. So stack that on there and you got yourself a sandwich. Just actually posted a giveaway on my Instagram page. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. This is my Instagram page and I just posted a hydro jug giveaway. Did this little giveaway with Kaiser 29 minutes ago and y'all are going ham for it because it is the tie-dye sleeve and I get to give away one of those and a jug of choice. So if you didn't already enter that, I'm pretty sure this video will be up before it's over, but yeah. So that is my giveaway that I just put up. That's one of my tasks today. Uh, the next thing I'm going to tackle is actually, I'm going to sit inside. I was sitting outside before, but I'm getting too distracted by the heat and it's making me tired. So I'm gonna actually sit here and send over some stuff for taxes. Taxes are actually extremely complicated when you do, you know, I have my nursing job and then I also do social media stuff. So yeah, taxes are posing to be a little bit fun this time. I actually do have an accountant. I could not do all of this by myself. So so I just need to send her over a couple things. So that's on my to-do list. I'll show you guys my reminder app. That's what I was talking about before. I don't know if you guys use this or not, but it's actually on the iPhone. So I'll just show you guys what the app looks like. It's this little one right here with the little dots on it. Really super helpful on your phone if you don't actually have like an in a specific app for it. If you guys have any apps that you like, let me know, I'm always open. I most of the time just go in and set them in my notes and go through and just kind of check them off. Or I think the notes app also has like a little checkbox thing, but I was walking out of work today and I'm, like, I'm gonna use the reminders button, so that's working. Hey guys, I just wanted to come on and end the video and talk really quick because I didn't get to show a couple clips because they actually got deleted on my camera, but I didn't end up getting to tell you guys what I do post shift in the morning, you know, what do I do with my clothes, what do I do with my shoes, how am I sanitizing, all that stuff. And I know that there's a lot of want for me to talk about COVID and I will. It's coming in the next video. This video was kind of just a fun me doing what I love to do, which is vlogging and just talking to you guys and showing a little bit of my day. I know a lot of people are expecting me to have this long spiel about it, but like at the end of the day, honestly, please keep in mind that I do go to work for 12 plus hours and it's not the only thing I want to talk about when I leave, especially that specific situation. Nursing stuff is one thing, but like that actual topic is kind of a touchy one. So it's not something I want to discuss in every video all the time, talk about for the next six months. So I will address it more in depth in the next video. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. But as far as as what I do when I get off of work and what Sam does is when we get off of work I put my shoes in a bag so I don't put them in my car I used to in my old car but now in the Jeep I absolutely will not let my hospital shoes go into my car so I take a plastic sack and all I do is before I get into my car I have another pair of shoes in there and I just take off my shoes and put them in the bag so that all the germs and hospital stuff is in that bag and then they just go in my car in the bag and then as far as clothes go the second I get home I literally completely strip down in my garage I'm sure some of you guys do that as well but that's what I do when I get home and then everything immediately goes into the washer to be disinfected washed all that immediately and then straight to the shower. I don't touch Kaiser. I don't touch anything in the house, nothing at all until I have showered so that everything is pretty much off of me. Uh, I can leave with a million germs on me at any time. So obviously that's in my Jeep as well. So then after I wake up, I will go out and disinfect my Jeep. And as well as before I had left the hospital, I do use the Santa Claus at the hospital to wipe down my phone, my badge, um, my keys, all that stuff. So that is what I do routine wise, but I kind of pulled back on making night shift videos and day shift videos or night in the lights of a nurse because I didn't want to be too repetitive because, you know, I can't 
doesn't change a lot through every shift but you guys seem to like those videos a lot so let me know in the comments if you guys are getting sick of them or if you want them to come back i just have tried to space out and add other things and again i don't make videos for the views i mean obviously it's great when something is super highly engaged and gets views but i also like making videos about skin care and beauty videos and just regular days in the life shopping vlogs hauls all that so that is how i do my channel i'm gonna keep doing what makes me happy i like sharing all parts of my life on top of nursing i have other interests but yeah i hope that that video was helpful i hope you saw something you liked thank you guys again so much for watching i hope you all are having a wonderful week i hope you're staying home i hope you're staying safe and i'm going to go ahead and head to bed and i will see you all in the next video bye guys